hey guys welcome back to another video we're gonna look at how to build this small dwarven house i was thinking i was overdue for another small build so here you go i must advise you all it is pretty compact so it will take some level of creativity to make use of the space efficiently so let's get ready and jump into the build okay so the material that we need to do this build so we start off with wood so we need one and a half card of wood we're gonna need one card of stone 21 core wood one card of marble 80 tar and 65 iron now bear in mind some of these things are estimated and some are exact so it's good to this get a little extra so for the layout of the build you're gonna start by using a two meter stone and you're gonna place it we're gonna start from the back here so we're gonna place down about seven so one two three three four five six and seven and for the sides now you're just going to make sure that this stone kind of overlaps in the corner here so this is going to be one and this is going to be two three and four so this is going to be the width of our structure and it's going to be a seven go across again three four five six and seven and it's just four to the side over here so the front of our build we're going to mark our our doorway so we're going to get our we we'll get our two meter here and you're going to aim at the so one two three the third stone here from the from the left so we're just going to place this stone kind of overlapping that part right there and then we're just going to it's going to be like a half space here like one meter stone and a two meter and then basically right here you're going to place the other so you should basically have like a two meter in uh, in, in width right here for the doorway and this is basically what we're going to work with okay, so the next thing that we're going to do is that we're going to add our support here so just to have the design that we have up there where we have this stone at the top and the wood in the middle so we're going to grab our wood iron poles and we're going to aim so in line with this little uh, stone here that we have uh, pushed out so we're going to put it on the back here make sure it's tucked into the ground because this is going to be very important to do so when we're doing the counting going up top so we do one up here on one right here and one right there and so the next thing you're going to do is that you're going to place two of these one two so in total it should be about four meters in uh, in height here and then you're going to grab your two meter wooden iron holes and you're just going to place one right here so basically you're going to go around the structure we're going to show you how to make sure that it kind of you get a one meter edge right here so you have a two meter right here you're just gonna get your one meter wood because uh, you don't have any one meter iron beam and then you place the wood right here and then you just place it right in that one meter wood so that you can get the right uh distance there and then you just bend it around just like that let me come around and maybe do the same thing here i think that is pretty much good and you would well, like to have to provide this uh, with some support so you don't have to tuck this one in uh, that is fine and you just get a one meter wood here and do that and then you can just place this in just uh, let's state that out and then we're just gonna carry this around let's get our iron beam here just wrap it around uh like that so we just do the same thing over here we just raise this up so one two and we just bring it across because we need all the support around the top of the structure for when we're placing the stone for that nice little uh cream <laughs> cream filling for the wooden stone kind of thing take that out let's wrap this around and just bring it around here to come together so we just need to put the support right here as well so that's uh each side have adequate support so i'm gonna put one over here let's make sure that this is all good let's do this one right here we'll just get a one meter wood place that in oh snap that in same thing over here and we should have something looking like this so now that you have these little iron beams in place now you can place the stone here so you're going to place it at the front so basically the stone should be in line with the bottom here so you should have the metal kind of tucked in and it's pushing out at the front and it is basically the same uh measurements as the bottom so you just want to make sure that it it also goes over to the side here so you're going to get a one meter wood just to help you get that little one meter extra 
over to the side there you gotta place that there take this wood out you are so good, uh, totally good there and then you can just uh, get your stone to overlap in the corner just like the base and you're just gonna go across just like like this so you should have total of four stone walls uh, in width the sides here and you just basically just uh, do the same thing make sure it's snapped in the corner right there and you just bring it all the way across just like that let's make sure that you don't break hole there let's put that back in and we just resume and get it all done Okay, so just a little bit of adjustments here so once you have everything here this should be good but uh in regards to these beams here these should be actually be in right in the corner here to be in within the columns that we plan on putting this bill so to get that done because there's no there's no snapping point in the middle here of the structure so you'd have to put it on a two meter and a one meter wood and then you'll find this get a snapping point right here where you can put that iron beam there so you can just uh, change these these one these ones out so for right here uh this as well uh for this one and for this one as well so is this one two three and four so you just change this out put them in the corner so that when you put in the columns they will be within the columns and not basically outside of it so now that you have the wood iron beam columns in the right uh, area so you just need to create a custom column so we're going to start off with the front right here and we're just going to get close up so that you can see clearly and you can recreate it for yourself if you're having difficulty doing so so i'm going to use a lot of shift keys to manually place these pieces in so first i just hold down on shift key and just line this uh, piece here in front of the wood iron pole uh, just like that it may go in a little bit but that is fine you can uh, you can do that that's good and then you just get your one meter and rotate it two times place it beside it there and then you can do the other side place it like that you may need to get the mid this last piece right here you can just put down a floor to snap one in and switch back to your two meter hold down on shift key and place it beside the other uh, beam there and then you just continue to do it's around the structure here so this one right here switch back to or one meter rotate it two times then we close up place that in and we can for this part here because of this side wall um it's optional because it's not needed only did this here because of the there's going to be a window right here so you can bear in mind of that but if it is like showing a gap you can just put the floor back here and just add that two meter piece right there beside it and you should be all good then once you have all of that done you just uh, snap all the pieces going all the way up this using two meter uh just like that let's put the side here this is gonna be a part of our door our window window frame here and we just put one piece here and uh, one here we just finally fill the this section out and so you basically your your column should look like this so what you're going to do is that you're going to do it for all the all four corners of the bill so you're going to put one here one right here one to the back right here and the last piece right here so i'm gonna, I'm gonna do that off screen and then show you the finished look of it so this is what you should have so far with everything in place Next thing that you're gonna do is that you're gonna grab your one meter stone and you're just gonna stack it right here behind this uh the the, the stone that is pushing forward we're just gonna go all the way up to the top just like that so you just do the other side and once you have these in place we switch over to your black marble plinth and you're just gonna place one right in front of it so it should be looking like that not tucked into the wall so just like that and then you're going to place one more right underneath it like that so the top part should be overlapping and you should see it looking like this so do the same on the other side so one right here and one right there next we are just going to place the one one like this beside it so you're just going to manually place this in just hold on on shift key and just slide and it should be looking like this so slide a little bit of space there and then it's, it's kind of still set back a bit it's gonna give it some little bit of depth there going on and then you can just do the other side and what's gonna happen with the other side it's gonna snap in automatically so not much work there hold down shift key and slide it in just like that 
and then you just put the other piece snapped in like that then we can grab our stairs now you can just uh, place one here and the other right there so the next thing you're gonna do is it's gonna grab your one meter marble and you guys gonna place uh, one right here one right here and uh, one more so basically two and then you're gonna bring this one all the way up to this point here and same for the side you're going to just switch over to the black marble corner for nice just rotate it around so that they triangle the angle shape here same into the, well, the center let's do the other side basically framing out our doorway and we switch on over to our one meter again once more we're just going to put one piece right here and another right here basically in line with the back one there and we're just going to get another of these uh, uh one meter and what you're going to do is that you're going to manually place this in so hold down on shift key you can see it uh, tucked in right nicely in the corner just like that just place that in let's do the same here uh we start with we we'll do with the other side because we're going to manually place the other side uh, so we don't want it to miss a line so we're just going to get our planes here and we're just going to place it right on top it's going to give it some depth just like that so you should have something looking like this here for a doorway kind of make it a pop so okay so we switch back over to one meter just want to see how that lines up and it's going to do the same so hold on shift key try to tuck it in in the corner just like that to the to the uh the most you can and then you just place that in get our corner nice piece and then snap it in like that so you may, may have to look at it to see if it is lined up good uh, everything looks good so far so yeah so you can move on to the next part where we just grab our black marble floor and what we're going to do is that it's going to have a overhang here so you're going to place it just like that and we're just going to bring it across like just like that and for the sides right here we're going to have that pushed in a bit so it's there's a snapping point there so it's pretty easy once you aim at it it's going to basically overlap with the stone that's what the snapping point is working with and you're able to get that piece in okay so the next thing that we're going to do is just a little bit of detail to the side here oh let's start from this because there's a little bit of overhang so just so you can see just a moment there so it's not going to be like a two meter it's going to be like a one meter so if I place this and you should have something looking like that so you're going to slide this in so that it kind of overlaps the core marble right there you kind of get a one meter overhang you can just use them over there you can kind of see it just like that you're going to do the same on the other side just to make sure that it all you know balance out so you're just going to slide this and you may have to take this out first so just take that out and then let's get that in and then we're going to have to uh, re-add this to the sides right here so you're going to put that put that in then you're going to do to the side so it's a one meter uh hang over there so it should be overlapping in the stone just like that and you just carry this around the side here just going all the way around just like this and you stop at the setting one more and you should be good to go make sure that they are snapped in properly so you, as you can see we have a little problem here just take this out and just kind of make sure that take that out so you don't have a problem make that slide right in nicely so that it's me when i like touching the wood iron pole beams for support and it should be looking like this so far okay so we're going to focus on the, the center roof of the structure here so that we can have that nice little dwarven look to it so we're going to get our our little plate corner right here and we're going to so make sure that it's uh it's set in this uh, direction here so it's going to have like a one meter space here going back from on both slopes for the front here to the side it will come over a little bit here so let's uh, start from over here which will be a lot easier because of the this line we have going on and then we switch on over to our regular plane and we're just going to bring this across just like that we just put one more in then we can squeeze actually let's remove that one and we'll just put our last piece like that so it should be to the side connected to the sides like that but a one meter space to the front now we're going to try to carry this to the back here but we actually need support so that it can hold up the marble so what we're going to do is that we're going to bring this support up here just it's two sides uh, it should be fine 
and we just get our iron cage and you're going to what you're going to do is that you're going to set the iron cage a slightly a little bit above of the line there should be close enough touching the iron uh pole there what we're trying to avoid is to have the iron cage showing at the bottom of the bill house now you don't necessarily have to do whole cages you can you can uh, spare some iron basically by just filling some spots and leaving some others so example if i should fill these all out just like that because it's touching some areas maybe skip here it's fine we skip right here to save a little little iron here and there skip right here and could skip right here so the little touch right here in between is what really extending the support just like that we can take this one out and we can take this one out should be good so it's just to support the middle section here so things that things doesn't uh, collapse on you and we're going to add our planes here and one right here so you see how it's such an iron now it's uh, supported we're just going to carry this across just like that and for the back here so you get your plinth uh your you just get it right plain corner and you're just gonna snap it like this you're gonna bring your marble floor come all the way down just like that make sure that the marble is snapped in properly so because because we made the little shift there with the iron cage there so it will have two snapping points so be mindful of that snapping point that may be created so i have to readjust a few of these just like that get our corner planes here and we just kind of get it in just like that and what you're going to do is that you're going to get your first of your pins and just going to bring this across just like this so it should have something looking like this here let me get the floor going across here for the back so you should have something like this take this out the one like that and put these back in and make sure that the snapping point is correct once you're done this is what the back of it should look uh, don't worry about this side right here because the roof piece will be covering that okay, so now that you have all of these pieces in for the middle section here so we're going to grab this uh, two by two by two uh marble stone we're just going to place uh, fill this little pocket here with all the marble just like that and we're just going to get our marble floor and we're going to get uh, create like an overhang right here so you just snap this right on top so you should have something like this and you're going to start to go across with it like that so what you should have the front looking like this here you will have a nice little angle here to the side uh, coming up to the flat top here and we're just going to bring this all around the structure here just like that so we just last piece here And the back should look like this, as you can see. It's a bit of smaller than the front here, but that's fine. And that's what we are trying to, trying to the look that we're trying to get. Okay, so now for the roof here. So we're going to focus on this side structure here. Now I did a little uh, a poll where I did two versions of this. Now I'm actually just doing the second version. But uh, the, for the first version, if you're doing the roof for this side, it's going to be the same on the other side. But without these little marbles going around so uh, as you can see on the screen here were the two versions that i've created which uh persons like the the first version and i see more majority person like the second version which is why it's the more uh dominating one for this tutorial but if you want to recreate the first version the roof is basically the same that is on the left for the right so how the roof is going to be done you're just going to get our dark wood uh, beam right here and we're just going to try to get a one meter uh overhang uh just like that so as you can see it's about one meter wood in length so that is good and we're just going to do the other side here is this a snapping point that is a, a stone here that's overlapping that creates that little one meter we can get when you kind of pull it over and then for the middle here we switch to our four meter we just put one here and we just put a, a two meter right here and that is for our overhang and then we're just going to get say one meter wood for the front here 
and for the front right here you can just bring this wood to the back this kind of go into uh the wood right here make it uh one meter make it stop right here which uh, makes it look a bit cleaner uh when we're going to add some little more details right here for the front of the structure so for the roof we're going to use a low roof because uh dwarfs tend to have more low roof uh structure so we're going to you know, bring this in we just put this one meter make it stop right here and we're going to grab our 26 degree beam and we just snap part right here and one right here and we just come up right into the middle you can switch to the small x and have it come together like that we can for the for the middle section here we switch to our 26 degree wood wall we just snap it to the side right here basically start uh, starting line is in line with the the wall right here i'll just do the other side so snap right there put another up top and another right here and we just use a half wall to fill this section in just like this so you should have the front uh looking like that and we switch on over to our 26 degree roof uh, shingles and we just snap these in just like that let's go all the way up the middle section we switch on over to the 26 degree ridge roof and we just kind of have it go into the structure like that switch back over to our 26 degree beam to finish up our roof now there are maybe some little open pockets in the roof that you may want to clean up just like what you see right here you're just gonna aim right there to have the roof piece to go in like that to kind of cover that little the pocket there and let's go around the other side and have that filled in just like that okay so now that we have our little roof in place here so we're going to add some detail to the side and then we're going to move to this detail for the front and then we focus on the right side of the structure so first we're going to add some detail here for the columns where we just get a one meter wood hold down on shifty make sure that it's uh it's kind of tucked in to the column just like that this is going to give the, the column some depth, making it look like it is supporting the structure. So kind of wrap it around us like this, going into the inside of the structure, just like that. And what we're going to do is you're going to grab your arch. And what you're going to do is that you need the arch to be just like about that, that level here. So you may have to take out this meter, uh, two meter wood and place it right on top of it, just like that. And you have a nice little arch going on from on the left side. So we're going to do that for the right side. That's going to aim right up to the top here, kind of overlapping the iron beam. And you get that snapping point right there and able to complete the arch looking like this. Just to make sure that everything looks uh, clean, uh, let's get a two meter dark wood. Let's take out this uh, this two meter thin wood for that one right there. Overlap with this uh, wood iron pole and put another dark wood right there. Then we're going to get our diverger metal wall and you're going to start by placing a piece i will start off with uh, all right we'll start with this side here we're just going to bring this all the way up and for this uh, the side here you're just going to try to find that uh, that nice overlapping position so that it works all right so you just want to make sure this is snapped in properly so you kind of see it's not flushed in perfectly because of the snapping points there let me find in so it's good to find uh, kind of play around with it if you may be having difficulty doing so maybe just take it out and just start over on the other side maybe just slide it a little bit further in beside that and uh, bring it up like this and then we just do this from the other side are you able to find a nice little uh, overlap there nice to get and get the, the look you want and there you should you should have something looking like that so now next we're going to work on the base here and we just get our one meter wood do the same thing that we did on the top get this wrapped in like that and put it back right here for the top section here we're going to get our regular plain wood two meter wood we're just going to clean the edges of the stone here because it's a little bit jagged so i don't want to show off the little jagged edges here but I wanted the clean look of the wood to kind of carry it off but like it, mixed with the wood there so yeah so that's something good there and we just get to for the base here we just work with the same clean wood design for the front here we're gonna make this column look a bit more unique so we're gonna take out so this two meter and we're just gonna get 
one of these four meter dark wood. And we're just gonna overlap the top one there. And just have this nice little design here. Uh, thanks to Han Handy Henderson for this neat little idea when we were doing a build on stream. So yes, this is, looks really good and kind of complements the dark, the dark stone the marble piece right here. So you kind of have a flowing theme going on: brown, black, gray, black kind of thing going on. For the base right here, so you're gonna get your regular stone stairs and you're just gonna aim right close to bottom there it should overlap basically overlap in the stone so that you can have just a little piece kind of tuck in just like that and we're basically carrying this around so we just do this all the way around the base here so we're gonna do the rest of the columns here i'm gonna fill the middle here with this uh, regular regular wall a wooden wall and we're gonna just make it smooth show the smooth part of it like that and we just kind of pull this Going all the way up, you're gonna use a use a half wall, kind of get into the little creases right here, so that it doesn't kind of push out if you're using the two meter two meter wall. So I'm gonna complete this top screen and then show you the next thing that we need to do. So now that you have the size here filled out here, so this little detail is pretty much optional. I didn't add the needed materials for this, so if you want to do it, so I would estimate that you need about four stacks of fine wood. So how do you do this? So you're gonna place a wood going across here. So what we're gonna do is make sure that you have this column kind of the detail of the column placed in first, so you can get make sure that everything kind of lines up uh, both sides. All right. So what you're gonna do is that you're gonna hold down on Shift key, aim at the wall, make it slightly lower than the little detail of the column right here. So kind of bring it down a bit, just like that. Let's get it snapped and going across just like that. And then we we'll just switch on to our stools. You may need about a 10 uh, for each side right here. Just gonna slide the stools in just a little bit. Make sure it's just in line with the, the wood here, the base. And you're just gonna bring this go across like that. So just line up the stool so that the edge is pretty neat, clean. And just bring this. Over. So it may take a little practice just to line it up, but uh, yeah, it is possible. It can be done. And once you have that in, you just gonna get your core wood, and it's gonna hold down and shift key, and you're going to have this core wood uh, snapped in. So let's see if we can get that in place here. So let's get slide it a little bit. We hold down shift key, aiming on the stools there. I'm just gonna get a two meter forward just like that we get a little detail looking like this uh may want to go in a little bit more so let's start from this side seeing that this side is more problematic than the other let's get that in within this do that again just like that and we'll just get so uh, one of those uh, 45 degree beam and we're just gonna uh, see if we can get a little snapping point going on like this and another over here like that I'm gonna finish up the side so that it doesn't look plain and boring. Another detail that I would add is using these item stands here. I like when you use it to wrap around these columns here. Give it a nice little, uh, little, little unique look. Uh, I can't put words to it, but uh, I just like it. Uh, so you're gonna place like a few. It's, as I said, this is uh, one of the optional stuff here, so it's not really necessary. But if you're up for mining fine wood, you can do so. So just place it around in the center of the column, just wrapping it around like this, which is kind of gives it a nice, uh, nice touch if you kind of, you know, kind of look at it. Yeah. And for the this middle section here, this middle structure here, for for this part where we're gonna add a gonna put like a ward is always a part of our design as well no no really really hard to get you know two you know one certainly four or five grade of eyes and five fine wood so what you do is that you take the this splint out and you're just gonna slide this back in here until it starts showing red aside back a little bit make sure that it's lined up with the front so let's show you from right here just slide back slide forward place it in just like that switch back to our splint here and we're just going to aim to the lower back of the stone wall just like that and what happens is that it overlaps the base here feels feels nice like a unique touch to make this feel like it's actually a dwarven build 
So you can do the same thing here. You just take this out, get your ward here, and just slide it back here just a little bit. Make sure it's centered in the structure. Get your plant, put it back here, just aim at the back, and you just have it. So it's like this. a nice, unique way of making use of the wards and making your structure look and feel unique. Then we're going to switch to our, our doors, or darkwood doors, or darkwood gates to be exact. And uh, we're going to show you what's going on in the back here so you can get the snapping properly here. So it's basically in line with the, the black marble here to the side here. And just open that up and get out. Show you how it looks and everything is all close up. Nice, uh, you need jewelry. We don't get the fancy dwarven doors uh, where the, the NPCs are happily enjoying. Uh, yeah, I feel this one that we can get that, but yeah, we still can make use of the darkwood doors and make unique doorways and uh, come up with stuff like that. I think it, it's nice, nice touch here. And uh, the next thing we're going to do is just uh, just to kind of tone that this the, 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 the marble kind of needs a little little brown you know need a little, little brown so i'm just going to get a coal uh for one of those four meter coal it's going to aim right in the corner here just going to slide it and just like that i'm going to just do it over here and get it in just like that so it's optional to see if you want to do that for the base here for the for the little design you you uh, use a plane uh to Make our build build you need. We just use one meter wood, and we just kind of wrap the base here and make it stand out a bit. The front here, side, look in this here, and it's kind of you know, merged up. We can get the stairs and merge this into the stone, just like that, and do the same thing here for the sides, just like the other side that we did earlier. And for we'll just finish it up with a few things here, and we are definitely good to go. As you can see, nice little touch there. And for the top, we're just gonna get our dark wood to kind of go across here at the front. You know? Nice little touch there as well. So we can basically we can just leave it like that, and we're gonna focus on this side here. Uh, this window here is basically the same. We're just gonna use uh, the verger. Uh, metal wall now if in the case that the virgin metal wall is pushing forward uh, in front of the arch that's the place uh, piece here at the bottom here just like what you see here so that's it's kind of slightly set back behind the the arch so that's the arch is more up front and the, the virgin wall is at the back here so we're just going to get all of this piece all the pieces in this aim at other side right here and we should have something like this here with the arches a bit more front uh, versus like over here where it's slightly above uh, in front of this side and uh, behind so just to make it a lot easier you can just set it behind there so you can get it that get it in that way okay so just like the other side you just add the four meter uh, dark wood piece here and you're gonna get your dark wood arch for this little corner here, you're gonna get your one meter wood. You're gonna snap it right here. Just take out this two meter uh, up above it and switch back to the arch. Uh, you can take out this one meter uh, above there as well, snapping that arch so that you have uh, something looking like that, where it's like supporting that little overhang, that little extra overhang for the structure that is gonna go up top. So before we start with the top here, we're going to focus on the back here for our chimney, fireplace, where we're going to cook our food. This is going to be like a personal home. So we're just going to get our hearth. And for, for this for this one here, it's because the hearth is a little bit lower than the floor, than the floor that we're going to have. So we're going to get stone floor. We're just going to place... Uh, just gonna place it about right here it's not gonna snap in but let's place one right here so that we can get the heart like about the same level and we're just going to place put that in about that that should be fine and what we're gonna do is that you're going to get your plinth and you're going to place one right there so the next little detail you're gonna get your two meter marble you're gonna 
kind of fill in this little this little part right here and we're just gonna bring this across just like that we're just gonna get the one meter then we get a two meter and a one meter right here this side then we get to our plant again kind of box that in just like that so we're gonna take our two meter marble we're just gonna bring this section uh all the way up about that two three and it should have uh, something looking like that what you're gonna do is i'm gonna put one meter uh marble in front of it another then we're gonna get our plane to put on top of that on top of this one and then we're gonna carry it, another plane right into the top just like that so you should have a, a nice little design uh like that and we're just going to pull this little pocket sort of pocket here just like that and we should be able to fit a uh, squeeze in or marble up top here and we should have a little a little space here so that the fire can bend out so once you have uh, this little section here done you're going to just add some stairs here at the bottom just kind of and we'll grab the theme flowing for the base here let's complete this other side and we should have like uh, something like this is open up uh i could have put some little angle uh, upside down uh planes here to this corner but once but i've realized that there's a little bit of issue where the smoke is uh, it's not venting up fast enough when i add these in i mean this is adequate space for this smoke to vent up properly but i don't know why it's giving issue to come out of the, the fireplace there so for now i removed it and just kind of leave it open just like that so if you want to play around with it yes you can go ahead and do so so for right here we then we're going to get regular wall and we just kind of get get a small wall right here just pull this little corner we're going all the way up we're just using the show the smooth part for the back here uh, just like the other other sections just make sure that you have your little uh, column detail uh for the back here as well it's uh the look of the back of the structure is important although sometimes don't show that much you know when it's just like basically just straightforward you know? but i just want to make sure that's it it is shown so that you guys see how it looks we're just gonna fill this other side let's get the half a small wall here just gonna snap it in in line with the stone base there let's get this going all the way up and then we just go to a full full wall here okay so now for the inside here so before we even put in the floor and we so because it's so small i just want to show you guys how i make use of the space here because i put the the chest in the ground so I just kind of stack like two two three so three of these one meter uh floors it's gonna go across and what we're gonna do is that we're gonna grab our chest and we're just going to place it down slightly back right here just a little bit away and then we just kind of line it up going across the side as neat as possible it's going to draw it close as neat as possible so you have a little extra storage here in the, the flooring for food or whatever stuff that you plan to to use it for so this is just an idea for you guys what you can use it for and then we're just gonna i'm gonna use basic floor for for now could do the fancier one but uh, uh let's do this basic one for now <laughs> so, so this is how it should look okay so for the fireplace here we're gonna make it so fancy right so i started by doing the same design where uh like the columns here i'm just gonna place these woods here just as a guy so i can get a little bit more room to work with when creating the columns and kind of place it little bit uh like in front of it maybe overlap a little bit there uh, not too much rotate two, two times place a little small piece right here and then i can just place another piece to the side right here just like that and then we can switch over to this side here rotate it two times it's gonna aim right here in the gap uh, just like that and just have two meter piece uh just like this here it may be resting on top of the chest that is fine and we just get a one meter wood to make sure that it doesn't go above this line here. And we just do this. And we just repeat the same thing on the other side. The next thing that we're going to do is to add our arch here. So I place a two meter wood 
kind of in line with the marble uh, above it right there. I'm going to kind of use this to, to get this arch kind of slide into the column, column just like that. Take that out, aim on that arch and have it slide into the column like this. So you have a nice clean arch. And then you just kind of add a 2 meter wood in front of it. Just like this. Just kind of come a bit forward. And 1 meter wood to the side here. And another over to the side right here as well. And then you have something looking like that. We could add a little column here. A little design to make it look like, like a nice little sturdy column. We're just going to do it to the, for the top, not the bottom. So kind of leave. Have it something looking like this. The side. And there it is. So we can hide these little iron iron beams here. We're going to use the wood. Kind of over flat these and for like this top section here we're just gonna get a one meter wood we're just gonna pull these little parts right here and just kind of rotate two times and have it turned into the beam just like that and there you have it so our little fireplace here okay so this is our fireplace it's all done and inside is all done so we're gonna focus uh, finally on the right side of the structure now we should have these uh, two arches here, one at the back here and one at the front. Once you have those in, it should be good. So now for the top section here, we're going to get our stone and we're going to... Uh, two meter stone, so we're going to start off by going across just like this. And we're going to stagger it, so we're going to wrap this around. But it's overlapping there. It's going into the, into the marble just like that. And for section here we just have it staggered just like that going around just like that have it overlapping here and squeeze that piece in and we get our one meter we've kind of fill that gap and get one meter fill that gap we get two meter like that two meter like that so we're going up about six stone walls in height so it's do this in this way so there's four that's five and this is six so for the width of the, the structure here for the front so we have a two meter one meter so you're gonna have a, a another one meter so actually should have a another two meter so it should be like three three two meter stone wall in uh in width here so what we should have so make sure that it's staggered okay, so now that i have the stone structure up so we're going to switch over to the marble and we're just going to get it over overhang here so it's going to snap it right to the edge here so it's kind of get an overhang uh, it's, it's enough to support the marble not to worry and we're just going to bring this all around the structure just like this so this is going to basically support our roof piece that we'll place in just a moment so we're just going to fill this in and should have it looking like that nice and neat and we're just going to add some details here so we're going to open up our window where we're going to put our window so it's going to be somewhere right here so let's take out this and that piece here let's going to pull this back and just like that i think that's all good and we're just going to get our dark foot arch frame out our window so it's going to be arch window let's make sure that's nothing okay so we get our two meter right there and one right there and we put one at the base here we're gonna have a nice little window ledge so we're just gonna get or one meter wood one right here one right here kind of wrap it around int so it goes into the structure looking like this and then we will add or refer your walls so this place one here and we we'll just place another just make sure that it's make sure that it is Reset. So we can manually place it. We're just going to drop it to the back here so that it doesn't show up in front of the arch here. Just like that. Nice. And then we're going to uh, clean up the top here of our window. So we're just going to place a plain full wooden beam and just one meter beam to the side here. Kind of wrap into the build just like that. And it kind of make a window pop. And now we can add a few little detail here. So we're just going to add or beam it's kind of going down the side here so it's not going to be one of those chunky columns it's a regular beam here and we just place 
another row a uh, column of these going up this one to the side right here going up just like that and we're just basically doing this for all the edges for this structure so that's it's kind of hiding the, the, the jagged edges of the, the stone and just using the wood to make it look a bit cleaner and we just fold this in one more I should have something like that and we'll just get our half wall we're just going to run it to the top here and we're just going to do it for the bottom as well and we're going to get our darkwood arch and we're just going to add a little detail here just uh, put our arch right here and put another over here maybe we can uh, uh this up put one right here and then we can just put one running down in the middle That's like so we switch on over to have our core wood and this is our little detail that we're going to add so we just aim at the top of the the marble and we just kind of slide it a little bit in there and then we just run that across and we just do the same for over here just make sure that it's not poking out to the side and that is definitely good and have that nice little uh touch there even the bill some depth and we can just do this for the front so carry the half wall go across switch over to our core wood and you just basically aim right underneath the, the marble bring that across here switch one over to a two meter one kind of aim out in the other core wood so that you can get it to go in like that and we're just doing this uh right here and also right here so we just add the wooden Balls to pull these in and repeat the same step. So once you have all these details in, now we can add our final piece. And we're just gonna get our four to five degree, and we just start off with the old corner. And we're just gonna place one right here, and one over here, into the back right here, and one over here. And we switch on to a regular four to five degree, and just kind of pull these in, just like that. Just bring this all the way up and pull this in like that uh, we should get, actually get another one of these corner pieces snap in like that and do this for the other side so just put one more right here and uh, take this out and put another right here and then we switch back to a regular four to five degree pull these pull these out and what you're going to do next is that you're going to grab your regular wood and you're just going to just put the wood the line right here and do it front you can also do it to the side as well because the next thing you're going to do is that you're going to add these one meter wood in between these little pieces uh, right here for the final detail for this for this roof and the next thing you just need to do is just make an opening here so this is going to be like a doorway to access this little tiny balcony area where you can maybe do some stuff here and i'm going to show you what i have done with my with my build i'm sure persons out there can do a better uh decorating job <laughs> uh, i tend to be lazy with decoration but uh yeah so this is going to be like a small little doorway that you can just uh Put a door right here and you just kind of maybe use the virtual wall so you can get the it's half a one meter height so kind of get this kind of stuck into the into the marble just like that going around the structure so that is it for the small dwarven house as you can see everything is uh, in place so it just you're, you can put your own creativity on it so i'm going to give you guys a preview of the inside of what i've done with uh, with the place well i'm sure that you guys could do a better job than me Hope you guys enjoyed the video, don't forget to leave a like if you did and subscribe if you want to.
If you use Plan Build Mods, you can download the blueprints for my builds on Patreon, so go ahead and check it out. Special thanks to my patrons and YouTube members, supporters for keeping the channel going, and thank you for watching.